with me because it's past dinner time and it's about to rain. Um, but I came out to pick some tomatoes for taco night and we have an infestation. Like the aphids. Can we see that? I've never, I've never had such a bad infestation. So, um, not something that I felt like could wait until after I got done with the work week. Obviously, I missed it when I got back from uh, vacation and it looks so bad. I feel like it had to have started like right before I left and I didn't notice. Um, so, we're going to spray it with some neem oil and hope that that takes care of the problem. So what this is, gosh, I wish I knew what size this bottle was because I mix it so often that I don't measure anymore, but it's <clears throat> quarter of a cup, three or four tablespoons-ish of organic neem oil, like the real deal Dawn, which I don't normally use in my house, but I use it for this. Um, the blue one, whatever. Uh, and isopropyl alcohol and water. So I use equal parts neem oil and Dawn and then fill half of it with alcohol and then fill the rest with water. Um, for the purposes of my succulents and my orchids and small pest issues, this usually works fantastically. We're, we're sort of spraying and praying today because I have never, I have never seen the likes of this many aphids. And sometimes when I see a small patch that looks kind of gross, I'll like wait and pray that the ladybugs are going to bring me some ladybug eggs. But this felt like much more than I could just leave, especially after the loss of all of my broccoli. Um, <laughs> I was so broken that I just cannot lose my entire harvest of black eyed peas. Uh, so, so this is what we're dealing with. Like, and you see, I already sprayed about half my bottle. Um, so some of them are starting to let go. Look at that. It's just It's just so gross. And they are all over the undersides of the leaves. They are all down the stem. This one plant is definitely the hardest hit. Um, you can see that one's, that one's pretty gross. And then it starts to lighten up down through here but this whole trellis I mean even down here on my very last yep yep so all the way the whole trellis long down to those tomatoes on the end we are dealing with such a bad infestation that like they don't even look green like green pot of black eyed peas. What is that? <laughs> sprayed out this whole bottle. Um, I tried to make sure 
to give a good coating on the tops of the leaves. I need my wine for this, y'all. <laughs> on the tops of the leaves and the undersides of the leaves. And of course, all over the pods that are covered in aphids. Um, I had a problem with some aphids on my sunflowers earlier in the season, but this is like a monster I've never seen before. I've seen aphids, but I've never seen this many at once. Um, so I'm gonna take a few swip, sips, swips. I just started this glass. <laughs> um, a few sips of wine and then go in and eat a taco because it's Taco Tuesday. Um, and then I'm gonna have to come out here and spray these off. I don't like to leave the dawn and stuff on my plants. Um, the alcohol will evaporate pretty quickly, but uh, the dawn itself does not. So I will probably come out and spray it off with the water hose um, and then take a look at what the problem is then. And then if I need to, I'll do another bottle of neem oil. Neem oil is one of those things that like, I get quite a few pest applications out of my one bottle of organic neem. Um, but God, that stuff smells terrible. <laughs> it smells so bad that I almost hate to even keep it in the house. I have used some really wonderful pre-made organic neem oils. Um, there is a great one that is sold at this cute little shop near my house. Um, so I will try to find her link and put it down below, but, um, I, I do, especially for the purposes of something this large, mix my own because I buy that in bottles this size. And um, this is probably gonna be a, at least a two bottle job. It's really terrible. So um, I guess let's go get some dinner and see what we come back to. coming off there is definitely some damage to my poor sweet plants Let's spray from the other side yeah <laughs> that it looks like I just beat the ever crap out of these poor black eyed peas. But there is some real damage to the backs of those leaves. Um, and, and I don't know what the damage is going to be to the actual pea pods. And I'm going to have to go back and get the underneath. Look at those guys hiding. Now hopefully they're dead because of my spray, but you know, just in case, I'll, I'll spray this one last time with water. Uh, but they should perk up in another day or two. Ugh. Even after battle, they are beautiful. Alright, so I have been eaten alive. I am covered in mosquito bites. It's fun. 
I react much less worse than most people to those. But I think, I think we got them. Oh, it's at least a lot better. Uh, and I found them all the way down to this first tomato plant. So I did one round of neem oil spray. I let that sit for like 45 minutes to an hour. And then I washed them all off really well with my hose. It really looked like I beat them to death, but better I beat them to death than the aphids eat them all, I guess. Um, so for right now, I'm pretty happy with the progress. I do see a few aphids left, but I'm hoping um, that they dried out enough with my spray. I will check on this as the week goes on and then um, hopefully, you know, worst case scenario, this has, has um, bought me enough time to really manage it when I am off again this weekend. So anyway, guys, uh, hope you have a good week and happy growing.